at the track in Moravia. And they really put some money into this track. I mean, I gotta admit, it looks pretty good. Fake turf. Uh, the sports team here does really well. It's one thing, I'm not into sports, but when I was in school, I was into track. You know, just not really was, I could have been a jock. I was voted MVP my senior year. But uh, I really was just there to kind of hang out with my friends. But I got to say, they do pretty well here. They're sports. Um, God, they've got like a really nice track and field here for such a small town. Over there is where I saw the ghost girl. About 20 years ago now. Not quite. Not uh, probably, how long ago was it? About 15 years ago. And uh, I didn't think she was a ghost. I thought it was strange. Because uh, she was, it was like darker than this out. And um, she was there by herself. Dressed like from the 1850s. And there's a really old graveyard up there behind those trees. Dry Creek Cemetery. And she had a white dress like 1850s. She had blonde hair and ringlets. I never saw her face. She always had her head down. And, uh, you know, her hair covered her face. And she never once, I never saw her face, which is probably good. And uh, she was humming a little tune. She had little black boots on. And I, I really was, I wish I'd taken a picture. I thought it was uh, just some child dressed up in a costume. Something. I thought maybe, I don't know, it didn't make any sense. Oh, I asked her uh, if she lived around here. She was right in front of me. And I uh, says, there used to be a sandbox over there, playground. And I was out here with my ex's son. And uh, he wanted, he was like eight years old then, seven or eight, about seven. He wanted to spend some time at the sandbox because I was out here at track this time of night. And we were walking back to the house, which was over there that way. So I cut across the field, and he wanted to spend some time at the sandbox. I said, okay. So we went back there where the sandbox what used to be, the playground area. Yeah, there was a girl there. Acting strange, standing there by the sandbox, humming a tune kind of fidgeting around with her head down. And when I talked to her, she would, would not answer with words. But she would just, like, with her mouth closed, like, mumble, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty odd. But when we left there, walked out, I said, what do you think of that girl? Pretty, uh, pretty weird. And uh, he said, what girl? Jake, he didn't see a girl. There was, And she was not, but maybe standing about seven feet away from him. I mean, he didn't, he never saw her. He never reacted to her. And when I spoke to her, um, he just kind of ignored me. He probably thought I was just playing games. I don't know. He didn't, didn't think anything of it. But yeah, saw a ghost girl over there quite clearly, and um, I did not get a bad vibe from her at all. Oh, well, I don't know. A strange little town. I asked her um, if she lived around here, and I asked her where, where her parents were, because was, there was nobody around. And she was out there by herself, and the sun was about this, it was about like this, but Darker than what it looks like on the camera. Because this camera kind of brightens things up. Now that's that. My daughter and I saw three of spirits up in there in that graveyard. Two women and a man, man uh, dressed up like from 1850. Hoop skirts and the man was dressed up in black with a stovepipe hat and stuff. And uh... I spoke to them too. 
I like the girl. I just thought it was people in costume. For really some weird reason I couldn't figure out until they vanished. But they didn't... Uh, I mean, I was right there in front of the man and the woman. He looked like Liam Neeson when he was younger. The woman looked... Oh, looked like my late girlfriend, Jen, kind of, but her hair done up in ringlets. She had a purple hoop skirt on. And both their skins were pale, really pale white. Lips, everything. And I said, how's it going? And they didn't even seem to see me or hear me. And uh, they vanished, all of them. There was another woman with them that stayed by a grave. She was blonde-haired in um, a yellow dress, hoop skirt. They all vanished. And I saw the balls of light weaving through the trees. Now there's a couple ghost stories. Well, I'm out here checking out the track for a few miles, just walking. Sorry. I used to do a lot of running, but <clears throat> ever since like years ago, I hurt my foot. I stopped running. I couldn't run. Heck, I couldn't walk for a year. And uh, cut the tendons in one of my feet. It was really bad. Yeah, so here's the track. Looks great. I don't know where they got the money from. It's state grand. It's grant. I think the state got a couple of million dollars. I think the town got, you know, a couple mil. And this is how they spent it. So for whatever, it looks great. I'll be covered in snow before we know it, but the snow melts. Here's your Strilly. All right, take care.